Welcome back to the Pack and Play Squad where my entire team is assembled by players and we pull in packs. We have awesome wide receivers on this team. We've got a great budget quarterback. I have no running back. I've got mediocre tight ends. I've got a pretty solid offensive line. Defensively, I could maybe use a new middle linebacker. Definitely need a new strong safety. And I could use a lot of D-line players, but Aaron Donald is pretty amazing. So that's what we're looking for today. And of course, there's really good news because the NFL Draft Pro one just dropped. It has some insane gold 99s. Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley is a gold 99 limited as well as gold 99 limited Larry Fitzgerald. We don't need Larry as much, but it would be an awesome pull nonetheless. Let's take a look at this promo because this is my first look at it. Damn, whoa, there's a lot of gold 99s. Gold 99, Jake Ferguson, Kirby Joseph. Kirby Joseph would actually be awesome on our team. We do need a strong safety. And this is probably a, a set player, a player you can just build. So hopefully if we don't pull any limiteds, we could pick up gold 99, Kirby Joseph. These cards look spectacular. The art is amazing. There's a Greg Rousseau. There's a Garrett Wilson gold 99. I like that. Linderbaum, Jalen Ramsey gold 99. Damn, these are nasty. Gold 99 Gurley, Gold 99 Larry Fitz are the two limiteds available, and yeah, they're expensive. I mean, relatively speaking. Although at the same time, this is an insanely good card. 98 speed, 98 excel, 97 break tackle on a 6'1", 230-pound running back. Yeesh. Gold 99 Larry Fitz is rocking 98 speed. Yeesh. 6'3", 220. Just the thing about wide receivers is there's so many wide receivers with the same build. Are there any 96, 97s? There are. There's a ton of 97 overalls. Damn. Okay, so we got a lot of good options. Martin Emerson, Emmanuel Forbes, Mariota, Quiddy Pay, Nikki Aquanu. Jerry Judy gets a 97. BJ Ojolari, James Cook. Okay. So a decent backup option at running back would be James Cook if I can't get Gurley. In the store is also a competitive draft entry ticket. All right, guys, let me be totally honest with you. I have literally no idea what that is. I'm about to just buy one so it can tell me what it is. Animation goes hard. I love it. Use this ticket to enter the competitive draft event. This ticket is consumed upon entering. I'll be totally honest with you. I don't know what that is. And it looks like it's not available quite yet, but I'm excited to see. Actually, let me do some research. There will be a special head-to-head -head draft event with pretty solid rewards. If you can win a championship after five wins in a row, that is awesome. I have been wanting EA to have a mode like this for so fucking long. Like not just the Super Bowl BS, like I'm talking like a gauntlet. Like you win five games in a row, right at the end, you get a crazy good like gold 99 reward. They should have had this forever ago. Win more championships and earn even better rewards in including a 99 overall draft night player. Okay, sick. I've been wanting to do this forever. That's actually really cool. Now, interestingly, there's actually not a lot of packs for this promo, and that probably has to do with why these prices are the way they are. There's the reroll, which gives you a 91 plus. If I can't get a limited, I'll probably take a whack at the reroll. I got a good 1.5 mil. And then of course, there's the NFL draft opportunity pack. You get 193 plus, 195 plus, and either a 95 plus or a gold 99. That being said, they did switch the odds. It used to be 49%. They have have switched that now to 51%. So I'm happy about that, but I don't know. I, I think this is a trend in the wrong direction. At the same time though, no, 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 no. I'm sticking to what I said. I do think this is a trend in the wrong direction. That being said, I'm still really excited to open it and the pack and play squad could use a gold 99. So let's go for it. Guys, I'm not saying I'm boycotting anything. I'm just saying it's, it's kind of some bullshit. 93 plus, we start with Byron Murphy. That's a good sign. Our 93 plus is a 95. All right, next one is the 95 plus. If I could just see the limited animation right now, that would make everything very easy. That's going to be a 95. Dalton Kincaid. The reason I say that is a, presumably there's two animations you can get. You could get the limited animation. That's if you pull Todd Gurley. But if you actually pull like a true gold 99 draft player, non-limited, there's got to be a separate animation. I assume. 95 or 99. Maybe I'll find out right now. Limited. Todd. Very nice. Come on, baby. Hey. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to speak Todd Gurley into existence, but I will never complain about a gold 99. 6'3", 218, 98 speed, 97 jump, 97 catch, 98 catch. Oh, it's such a nasty card. He gets third down threat for free, or we could go matchup nightmare or route tech. Same ability bucket in the fifth slot. So I think we take route tech for one. We take third down threat for free. And do these cards have special X factors? No, that's been a new thing this year. A lot of cards have had special X factors, so I always got to check. He does 
thousand. I have no use to run any of these. Hey, very good start. We got gold 99, Larry Fitzgerald, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna be honest. I really want that Todd Gurley. Now, keep in mind, gentlemen, this is wave one. So this is one of those promos where they drop a second wave a week later. So there should be another set of gold 99s that drop next week. I'm gonna go for the second opportunity pack. This first one treated me so nicely. Let's see if we can strike gold twice. Our first 93 plus, Josh Uchi, 93 overall. This is the 95 or 99. Can we, oh, 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 that's a gold 99, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, we need a tight end. We totally need a tight end. Let's go. I was literally just gonna say, I wanna see the draft gold 99 animation. And that's it right there. So 6'5", 245. He's got the exact Papa Meeks build. That's crazy, on the nose. 97 speed, not such a great blocker, but he's gonna be an excellent vertical threat. Jake Ferguson, and of course, he'll get great abilities. Mid in elite, route tech, or deep in elite. These are interesting for a tight end. I'm gonna go mid in elite for free, and I'm gonna go deep in elite as well. Yeah, these are weird abilities, but that's okay. Gold 99 Jake Ferguson. Hey, so two gold 99s back to back on the opportunity pack. Maybe that extra 2% did help. We also still have a 95 plus, but this is a 95. Oh shit, hey! So 97s have that animation too. Ikea Kwanu's, it's still, that's an amazing pull. It's a huge addition to this team, I think. I'm trying to remember who my left tackle is. Left tackle is Gira Bowles right now, so this is, yeah, it's an upgrade. Beautiful. The only thing we didn't get though, we didn't get a halfback, which is actually sad. I'm gonna generate best lineup and see what it does here. So it puts Carmichael at wide receiver two, Fitz at wide receiver one, Nico Collins wide receiver three. Derrick Henry is technically my starting halfback. We got Big Ben. We got Jake Ferguson now with Dalton Kincaid. So two new tight ends. Ikea Kwan, who starts at left tackle. And frankly, we I don't think we did anything on defense. We didn't. Let's go see if we can build Kirby Joseph in sets. All right, so what do I need to build a gold 99? You need two 97s and two 96s. It's actually pretty tough. Honestly, with that being the case, I think my best bet is to try these rerolls. Try the 91 plus rerolls. Either I could pull James Cook or get enough players to actually trade in. So every time we see this animation, the best case scenario is a 97. All right, so I started with 1.5 million training. We're gonna be rocking 820K here, which is 700,000 training deep. We've got virtually nothing to show for it. The only thing is you can't compare training to previous years because training is significantly less valuable this year than it's ever been. It's, it's really just inflated. And on average, I would be pulling a golden ticket one out of every 30, so every 300,000 training. That is laughable compared to this year where these are 50K and I'm not even sniffing a gold 99 right now. So there's our first decent pull, 95 Chip Okuda. It is sad that that is our first decent pull, but I guess we'll take it. Over 1.2 million training deep. I haven't even seen a 97. So consider this a public service announcement. There's our second 95. I can never complain about those. Darnell Wright and Jeff Okuda. This is our final one right here. Assuming we don't re-roll, let's go see how bad the damage was. That was 1.5 million training. And if we sort by newest, we can just quick sell everything we got and see what it would be worth. An absolute plethora of 91s, two 95s, a few 93s. They would quick sell for 750,000 training. So literally 50% just wiped right there. I am gonna keep my 95s and reroll though. That Todd Gurley would be such a huge addition to this pack and play team. I think it's worth it. Back to the rerolls, Yaya Diaby, bro. If I gotta see this guy one more time, I'm gonna cry. I'm just gonna be happy with Larry Fitzgerald. I'm gonna pick Todd Gurley up off of the auction house, but once again, we can't keep him. We're gonna have to pull or build a running back down the line. This 96 was so expensive for so long, and now he's a gold 99 limited. We'll take free jukebox and bruiser. That's an awesome stack for one AP. I'll still run freight train. It's really not too hard to activate it. All right, let's get Gurley's abilities activated, as well as Jason Kelsey, of course. Dude, we still don't have a strong safety. This is gonna make me so mad. I hate having Dante Whitner out there. He is just not built for this. But hey, like I said, it's the pack and play squad. Beggars can't be choosers. Is there anything that we have like completed in sets? We're close. We're close on the 97 hero, but not quite. All right, fine. I'm addicted. Fine, I'm addicted. I admit it. I can get five more of these. I'm addicted. I admit it. All right, I'm going back for more. I'm trying again. Cesar Ruiz, 93 overall. Okay, it's a decent start. Final. Dude, these suck. I'm so pissed. 
Fuck you, Yaya Diaba. Hey, we already pulled a gold 99 today. I'm being a big baby. We're also gonna be rocking Todd Gurley. Can't wait to see how he performs. We just gotta sell him after the episode, but we'll get to keep Larry Fitzgerald and Ikea Kwanu. And next episode, hopefully we can pick up a strong safety and a halfback. Here we go. Ooh, he's got Demarius Thomas, Jefferson, Raheem Mostert. Fitz, Carmichael, Branch. Yeah, we got a nasty top three, bro. All right, my goal for today's game, honestly, is to activate Freight Train on Gurley. Although I don't want to be a dick. I hope this guy is a, a cool dude and a subscriber and Rally Boy Boy, if you're saying good things, I love you. God, they made Roethlisberger so fat. <laughs> He's just so fucking fat. Looking kind of goofy out there. Whatever. I'll take the penalty. I don't care. This is my favorite camera angle. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's go inside zone to the boy Gurley. And this camera angle is horrible because I could have just gotten huge positive yards if I wasn't on it. So we got this new Jake Ferguson. Yeah, second and 12. Let's see if we can get him, get him some reps. Ah, uh, don't. Could we see that one more time? I just, oh, they rubbed. Todd Gurley and Larry Fitz ran into each other. So it was a perfect ball, but since they bumped each other, oh my God. He's got Josh Allen, Raheem Mostert, okay. Hendrix is my saving grace. This guy is such a demon out there. He's probably the best card in the game. Second and 16. We're talking about a, a six foot nine player with Lurk Artist. It's just such a demon. I just made Bruh. a bad play there. And you are still on your feet, Demarius Thomas. Righty, first and goal. Let's get on Tyran Matthew, try and blow this up. Maybe jet sweep? I doubt it. Oh, he motioned the wide receiver over to grab an extra blocker, but luckily he does get grabbed by our D-tackle. Nice work. I feel like this would be a pass now. I'm gonna put Aaron Donald and Buckner in light blues. This is super weird, but I just don't see him running the ball again after that. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Shit. I was hoping he might step out. Nice hey, play. Yo, nice fuck? celebration, too. Yeah, that was a bummer start to a game. We'll be all right. I honestly want to run the ball a lot with Todd Gurley. And that is such a bummer. There was such a lane there. All right, second and 10. Let's get it together, guys. This is a really tough game right now. So he's blitzing the corner. Todd Gurley knocked out. Now third and 10. Does the Rattler blitz here? Jake Ferguson in the middle! Yo, that's why you put on mid in elite. Because he does not catch that ball without mid in elite. I wonder if we could hit Larry Fitz deep. Or is that, you know, that safety's dropping. But we can hit the underneath to our also our other new tight end, Dalton Kincaid. All right, first and 10, we finally got a drive together here. Let's go to Todd Gurley here right in the middle. Beautiful blocking, gentlemen, another great block. That time, I think from Jake Ferguson. You gotta love that gritty tight end squad. Jake Ferguson, Dalton Kincaid, George Kittle. Come on now. And there's Ferguson, absolutely torches, man. Great ball from Big Ben. Okay, yeah, we stay like this, boys. We're gonna be all right. I wonder if he gives me that exact same route. He does not uh, throw that ball away. That was a great throw away because I was going to get an intentional grounding if he didn't actually throw it to somebody. So good work, Big Ben. Just going to take the easy underneath again. He kind of keeps leaving that. And a good push gives us a first down. That was greasy, but I'll take it. All right, we're going to go with the run here. This run's actually been really solid to this right side because Warren Sapp keeps overplaying it. Great downfield blocking. A big juke from Todd Gurley to dodge the safety. That really was beautiful. All right, I'm gonna try this again. I think I go Kincaid right in the middle. Easy two point conversion. Oh, he sees it. Good defense. He knew I was trying the same thing. Nice play. All right, first and 10, I'm dropping these two and I'm on Keekly. That's gonna keep killing me. I gotta switch up my defense. Actually, I don't need to switch up yet because I can still blitz. I haven't tried the blitz yet. It's gonna go play action there. He finds his, damn it. Good hit. Almost broke that pass up, but weren't quite able to. All right, I'm going coaches suggested defenses. Honestly, this works so well for me in Mutt that I'm not gonna spam the same defense over when I'm not in Mutt. Big nickel cover one hole. Sure, baby. Why not? Bring Matthew down and I'm on Hendricks. There's nobody open. There's absolutely nobody up in great defense. Grabs Josh Allen before he can get any more. All right, this is man coverage. I don't like this so much. I'm not going to lie, but we got to go for it, right? Definitely could run the ball. I don't think he is, though. I'm going to hop on Whitner. Oh, he really is a run play, but Tyran! Oh, no! Mostert breaks it, but he can't break the second one. Tyran Matthew, huge stop. Take me to fourth and seven. He's going for it. Gun tight flex. Got to guess pass. Got to play the corner routes. I got Hendricks in the middle. 
McDonald gets home. We're already in field goal range, which is huge. That'll put us in the lead, but I'd love to take a little bit more. All right, let's hang out in this pocket. See if we get some time. We really do have excellent time. I'm going Carmichael, it's risky! But don't forget, he's six foot nine. It's really never risky to throw him the ball. First and 10, honestly, this is probably a Carmichael touchdown. It probably is, unless he follows it. Ah, uh, no. Just stay clean in the pocket again. That's fine. Good sack, Aaron Donald. Haven't used Larry Fitz yet. Let's get Larry Fitz involved. Actually, no, we got to throw Derrick Henry. They're looking at Larry Fitz so hard that... It's Derrick Henry. Todd Gurley. They were staring down Larry Fitz. They didn't even see him. Now we're going power O, Todd Gurley to the right side. We need a single inch. Maybe a little more, Todd Gurley. Push. Ooh, big five yards on the goal line for Todd Gurley. Nice work. Let's just take a peek. Let's be patient. Be pa oh, B is so open. I didn't even see him. No. All right, we got second and goal now. You know what works really well, though, is this, this route right here out of Todd Gurley. This tends to work really well. Just kidding. Big Ben step up and then throw? Oh. Dude, I'm not going to get stuffed right here, right? Let's find a way, boys. Maybe RPO Zonal or Omaha. Is Carmichael open on this? Oh, no, he's not. But Gurley, no. Dude, I suck. If I follow those up the middle, I get a touchdown there. Oh shit, I don't have a, oh my God, who is this kicker? I don't have a kicker with abilities on this team. All right, you know what, it went in. It's really not that hard to kick, guys. It's just when you're so babied by the abilities, it's kind of hard to go back. <laughs> First and 10, what do we got? Play action, Mostert. He's gonna, wow, that was a hell of a ball. Gets first and 10. Yeah, he's moving tempo. I'm gonna blitz Taylor. I gotta be blitzing Lawrence Taylor every time. What am I talking about? It's Lawrence Taylor. Second and three. He's going to motion Demarius Thomas down. I think this is a pass. Yep. Oh, I knew he was going 85. I'm just a little late, but his pass wasn't great either. Shockingly, I don't know how I missed that. Third and three. Big play, big play. I don't really want to be on Tyran here. I'm going to go on Teddy Boy. See if Mostert has a route. Oh, it's an actual handoff. Oh, we're there. He cuts inside, gets fourth and inches, and he calls a timeout. He could kick this field goal. Maybe if he's got a good kicker, it's a 63-yard field goal. It's fourth and inches, so he is trying to choose some clock. I'm going Sam Will Blitz. It's the perfect play call here. It can stop everything. He might try and throw a quick slant. Hey! Aaron Donald comes through with a little help from the rest of the squad. All right, first and 10. Huge. I'm going Larry Fitzgerald. Maybe. Fuck it. Let's go. Come on, Fitz! No! That was honestly there. That's a bummer. Second and ten. He's the only guy I really haven't got to utilize in this video yet. He's the one I pulled. I could test him again. What's the abilities he's got over there? What's he got? Pick artist and deep zone chaos. So he has deep zone chaos. It's going to be really hard to catch a ball on a deep zone chaos. I'm just going to be honest. But Jake Ferguson is definitely going to catch that. Hey! He's up close on Fitz. This is so risky. Oh, B was open again. He was there. All right, we got to get creative with the play calling. A little more creative than I've been. Five, four, everything was bagged. I'm just gonna be honest. They're, they're in a soul open there. Second time we had to settle for a field goal, but this one was more about the clock and less about really having to settle. I think if we had some time, could have got that in the end zone. First and 10, I expect a run, I'm not gonna lie. No, he's not, this is a pass now. Do it. Do it. Hey, a fumble! Heads up play by his offensive lineman. I was trying to get on that. Second and 12. Definitely another pass. I'm going to guess pass here. Ooh, that's a... Dude, I actually feel bad. He's missed that wheel route twice now. He should not be missing that throw. All right, third and 12. Some great stops so far. This is a handoff, and he's bagged anyway by Kyle. 93 overall, Kyle Williams. Let's go. I love when the budget cards step up, man. I accidentally just blitzed Joey Porter Jr. Fuck it, I'm keeping it. This is so stupid. And I'm still doing it, and it might work. Oh, I was so close to that. First and 15, let's see what he's got. Does he want the wheel route to the halfback again, you know? Ooh, Josh Allen. Kyle Williams is all over the place. That card came out like six months ago. Second and 13. What do we got? Bagged here. 
Bagged here, Josh Allen with a nice cut, but another fumble, and there is no way you just attempted to pick that up and walked past it? What the fuck was that? Wow, this is so unlucky. Look at this. Look at 95. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a bummer, but shit happens. Let's try and get it back here. Third and three. This isn't like a jet. What is this? Oh, it's a draw play. And I missed with Hendricks. I missed with everybody. I just gotta give credit. Those are some nice jukes right there. I can't believe he still has the ball. This is big though. Does he go for two here? He should. If he doesn't get it, that'll be huge for us. Yep, this is huge. I honestly don't expect him to run this. I expect this to be a pass. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's call it karma. Let's call it even, buddy. You really shouldn't have the possession, but you should have made that pass for sure. Remember when I said I've never lost a game by one single point? This could be the game. Certainly, certainly looks like it right now, right? You gotta love that. We got five blockers for four, and yet somehow you are fully untouched. Not by a soul. Just ran straight at me. Bold strategy. All right, we're gonna hit the underneath here. Christian Okoye is in at running back. Third and nine. I have no idea why he's in, but okay. Third and nine. And there's Okoye again. He's gotta make a really tough catch, and he does. First and 10. Telling me to bullet a pass like into coverage. Okay, Okoye is just the best wide receiver ever, I guess. I guess we just gave up on Gurley. I'm gonna go halfback dive here. Ooh. Okay, Gurley. First and 10. Did we get the snap off snap? Yes, sir, we do. I'm going Larry Fitz. Oh, that's so covered. What I just want to get Larry man? Fitz involved, man. He's got no reps. Second and 10. Oh, this could be Larry Fitz. It sure is. Look who's got the ball. And he's still up. Third and four. Ball don't lie, baby. I don't know why I just said ball don't lie, but I threw the same pass. I think I was trying to say like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but whatever. It's okay, guys. I ruined the clip, but it's okay. Kincaid, are you gonna be open? Ooh, you are so open. Dalton Kincaid gets us down to the 22. We just can't falter here. We actually gotta get in. A field goal would be scary. I mean, I take the lead, but still would be scary. I wanna get everything I can here. Ooh, that's a touchdown to A. What is this nano blitz he's sending? This is some stupid blitz I've never seen before. I hate these. Well, I guess by default, they are good blitzes, but they're stupid. They shouldn't work. Take it off with Big Ben who fumbles. Hey, he's picked up a fumble. I picked up a fumble. I guess we're even on that regard too. I'm honestly kind of looking at Carmichael here. Oh shit, she's got a delay game. I want a, a beautiful corner route out of Carmichael. Let's see if it's there. It's really not. But, oh, that's such a risky pass. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if Fitz came down with that? I gotta go for another field goal. Damn it. I don't know why I'm struggling to get in the end zone so much today. Now this is actually kind of a hard kick with Matt Gay's no abilities, but I think he's got it. He does, he does. You know what would be so sad if he kicks a game winning field goal? Cause I literally sitting here talking about how I don't lose games like this and I might. We played really good defense today. He has one deep running touchdown with Mostert. Other than that, I think we're playing pretty solid. We still got all the three timeouts, got the two minute warning and Wow, it really is one of those fucking days, isn't it? Ooh, I knew I, something I felt weird game, about this bro. game. I could just tell something felt weird about this game. You know how rare that is this late in the season, get a kick return touchdown? Broke a tackle too, that's, that's crazy. Yep, dynamic difficulty adjustment, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we need a touchdown. Can't settle for a field goal this time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to slowly move down the field and score with no time left. All right, let's go inside zone tag early. I feel like I haven't established the run well enough. Unstoppable, unlimited. Warren Sacks. I still got two yards. That's really not bad. Where is he usering? Barry? Okay. Carmichael. Beauty. That's exactly what we need right there. Let it go to the two minute warning. Need the touchdown. I'm gonna double team in the middle and go inside zone. Okay. Second and nine. I think he'll take Carmichael and then I can hit Jake Ferguson. Oh, that is... Jake Ferguson was open, just wasn't even looking at the ball. But honestly, Carmichael was open too. Fucking beautiful. And Carmichael's lanky ass got that first. All right, first and 10. That was, that was awesome. That's exactly what we wanted right there. I can hit Gurley underneath. 
Can't turn the corner, though. Just hoping he'd switch on. Second and eight. Uh, tight end angle. Carmichael's kind of what we're looking at here. Gonna block Ferguson and give Gurley the angle route. There's Carmichael. Let's go no huddle. Third and one. Oh, look at Carmichael. So open. Huh, how do I want to do this? 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, and I'm calling the timeout. 30 seconds, two timeouts from the 28-yard line. I'm not going to try that same thing with Carmichael. I'm going to try this combo. Beautiful. He vacates the middle. Todd Gurley. <laughs> Ow. Can I no-huddle this? No, I shouldn't have. I just used a lot of time. That was bad. Should not have used that much clock. Now it's just score. I honestly think Larry Fitz could step up right now. After all this time, it could be Larry Fitz's moment right now. Oh my God, he's got single coverage. Fitz! No! That's crazy. God, these zone KOs are so silly, man. That is a, that is Larry Fitzgerald. Single coverage had a step on him too. I mean, he had it. It's a huge bummer. The thing is, I can still just get closer and then do the same thing, you know? I don't have to get it all right now. Second to 10. Oh, wow. Let's watch that one back as both of my offensive linemen completely ignored the blitzer piling down on them. This is such a bummer. Honestly, this feels like one of those games I just got completely robbed. I'm motion Gurley as a decoy. I just smacked the fucking pylon! That's a touchdown! You're telling me this is not a touchdown? What? Big Ben QB sneak? I don't want to pass from the inch yard line. I could run an I-form run, but that, um, I don't have a timeout to use. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go QB sneak. We got big boy, Big Ben. Which is which side? First and goal from the one. Well, I didn't get much more than this, boys. First and goal, going for it, Big Ben! What? Is this man not sitting in the end zone with the ball in the end zone? You're serious. What could have possibly happened there that he's not in the end zone? I just saw his entire 80% of his body sitting in the end zone. What? I don't think I've ever been robbed of a win so impressively. Where is he not in? Big Ben, don't tell me you downed yourself. Oh my God, he downed himself. Oh my God, he downed himself. Wait, no, I don't know. This is a touchdown. He still hasn't been touched. Wait a minute, I'm trying to get a good angle on this. Okay, he still hasn't been touched. 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 What the fuck? He never got the ball across the plane. I don't know, refs. I don't know, IG refs. What do we think about that? That is so insane. Can we watch this too? This laser beam, six seconds left. This is a fucking touchdown! He's smoking the fucking pylon! And he's not out yet! How is this not a touchdown? I don't care about the QB sneak so much as I care about this. He's hitting the pylon with his arm. The ball is so beyond across, and now he's, oh my God, it's a, it's a yard across it. Does it be inbounds when it crosses the plane, maybe? It probably be inbounds when it crosses the plane. That would make sense. But he makes contact with the pylon. I don't know the rule on this, but that was a generational bad beat game. Let's not forget second and 10, where this double team, let's take a look at this gorgeous double team here. Nice work, Corbett. No, you got him, buddy. You got him. Fucking morons. That was a generational bad beat. That was such a shit game. Good Lord. All right, hey, well, we got gold 99 Fitzgerald, right? Todd Gurley was pretty solid, but he wasn't anything groundbreaking, so I'm not too sad that we don't get to go with him. I am just, they just asked me to lose this game. Sorry, Todd Gurley. It was a fun run, man. It really was. Dude, I don't know. Honestly, maybe I'm being bitch made, but that was a tough pill to swallow. I actually feel like I got robbed. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I don't like to be a whiny bitch if it isn't, if it isn't deserved. Uh, regardless, I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. It was still, like, that was a sick game. I'd rather have that than a blowout on either sides, right? Hey, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.